The founder of the firm behind the anti-Trump dossier pleading the fifth on Capitol Hill. Glenn Simpson refusing to answer questions under subpoena. President Trump tweeting, is it really possible that Bruce Orr, whose wife Nellie was paid by Simpson and Fusion GPS for work done on the fake dossier and was used as a pawn in the whole scam, the witch hunt, is still working for the Department of Justice? Can this really be so? I don't know why he's still there. He's been demoted. Our next guest predicts the DOJ won't lift a finger against Simpson. Here to explain Judicial Watch's own Tom Fitton joins us now. Why not? Why not lift a finger? Because Simpson is a key uh, cog in the machine that is the Mueller special counsel operation. Uh, there's a direct line from Clinton to Simpson to the dossier to the FBI DOJ to the Mueller special counsel that has relied on that dossier, relied on some of the information that uh, Simpson and Christopher Steele concocted with the help of Russian intelligence to target Donald Trump. And as long as Mueller is running the Justice Department effectively on uh, these Russia investigations, all these witnesses that helped him get where he is today are going to be, I think, protected. Well, Rosenstein runs the Justice Department during the Russian probe because Justin's, Jeff Sessions recused himself. What do you mean but, Mueller runs the Justice Department? <laughs> I don't think Rosenstein is effectively running the Mueller investigation. Uh, that's why you have a special counsel to provide some independence from uh, supposedly the Justice Department senior officials. Uh, look, uh, there's been this deference to Mueller. Everything the DOJ has done in terms of stonewalling information about what uh, uh, Rosen, uh, what Mr. Strzok was up to, about what Bruce Orr was up to, about what Glenn Simpson was up to, it's all designed to protect this Mueller special counsel, which is illicitly targeting, in my view, President Trump. All right, let's look where we're at right now, Tom. Jim Comey's been fired. Andy McCabe's under grand jury investigation. His, his situation's getting worse by the day. Peter Strzok disgraced and fired. Bruce Orr demoted, but mysteriously still there. Nellie Orr refuses to testify so far. Glenn Simpson pleading the fifth. Joe Mifsud cannot be located, and he's a key cog because he was talking with Papadopoulos, and Christopher right. Steele can't verify any of his information, and he talks from overseas in Britain. Now, why did Glenn Simpson take the fifth? Why did he take the word is two things. He's hiding something, number one, or number two, he's looking to play out the string because he thinks the house is going to flip and the investigation will stop. Well, that may be, uh, that's a good point on the second part. Uh, the first issue, though, is that he has to have a good faith basis for doing it, and presumably his lawyer isn't going to let him do it without a good faith, basis, good faith basis. And the big issue is whether he told the truth about the timing of meetings he had with the Justice Department, namely Bruce Orr. He says he didn't meet with them until after the election. It turns out he met with Orr, it looks like, before the election. So you had this Clinton campaign vendor, dossier creator, uh, meeting with the Justice Department, in the middle of the election, in August of 2016, he tried to cover that up, it looks like, to Congress, and that's why he's uh, facing some concerns about a perjury prosecution. Right. He looks like he lied. Somebody's lying because they all can't be telling the truth because their stories are so different. Tom, that's you're right. indefatigable in pursuit of the truth. Thanks so much.